Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, and this is a tutorial on how to move a multiple choice quiz from Microsoft Word into Schoology. Now I've only tried multiple choice so far, so when I create, I might create other tutorials on different types of tests. But I've tried this one several times and it seems to be working really well. Right here in front of me, as you can see here, I have a multiple choice quiz and I've formatted it in a specific way. In order for it, for this whole process to work, the first step is making sure that you format the test in this way. The first line should always be the name of whatever your quiz is. If you have other things over here like date and name and all those other kinds of things, make sure that you delete those things. If you have any kind of formatting like uh, some sort of tabs up here, make sure that you eliminate those also because they will mess up uh, the test. The next thing that you need to do is in all capital letters as I've done here is just type the word multiple choice. And then you can just go through your number system like you do, have a question like this one here, and then have your options A, B, C, D. Uh, it's not just limited to A, B, C, D. I think you can just go on forever so it could be more than just A, B, C, D. The one thing that it doesn't do well um, is uh, multiple choice that has multiple options. Okay, so it has uh, like let's say you had to choose both A and B uh, to be able to get it correct. If you don't have that as one of the choices here, you have to actually manually go into Schoology and then choose those options. But besides that, everything else just kind of seems to go ahead and work, at least right now. So you put the question, you put A, B, C, D, or however many options you have, and then you'll notice what I've done here. I put A and S in capital letters and a colon, and then a space, and then I put the answer uh, the correct answer actually after it and I'm going to actually make all of these the exact same as the letters here I made them all capitals to begin with but I think I'm gonna go through and make them all small letters because I think that will actually mess up the formatting so make sure you put a and s colon and then put the answer right on the final after your choice is the final line there so let me just go through and we have 15 questions, I believe, on this quiz. And there we go. So now we're all good. The next thing we're going to do after we've created this quiz here is we're going to go File and Save As. We're not going to save it as a Word document. We're going to choose this thing called an RTF or a Rich Text Format file. R rich Text Format or RTF. And I'm going to place it on my desktop just so I can find all of these things. I'm going to place all of these things on my desktop because that way I can locate them easily. Once you figure out how to go ahead and do this, of course, you can create folders in your documents and do and put them wherever you want. But for right now, just to easily locate things, I'm going to put them on my desktop. So here we go. I put file name, drill press quiz, rich text format. I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's saved to my desktop now, and I'm going to actually have to close the file. So I'm going to close it up. The next step is a little bit weird. You need a program called Exam View Import Utility, which uh, I will gladly put onto your computer. It takes a couple of seconds to go ahead and put on there. You will also need something else called Exam View Test Generator. And I have the disk now that has the Exam View Test Generator also. So I can come and, and load both of those onto your computer so you don't have to do any of those things. So in order for exam view import utility to actually work um, as far as trying to find, it tries to find and locate the files, it only looks in one place. And the place that it looks is inside of a file that it created when you create exam view. And you have to go to my computer or computer. And let me click on the C drive here. And under your program files, we have to find the one that's about the exam view. So I'm going to double click that. Uh, you notice what I just did there program files the x86 folder I'm gonna open that up and there's one called EVI import and that is actually the folder that was created with this exam view import utility so I'm going to right click this and I could actually create a shortcut to it on my desktop if I want uh, it's just so I can find it easy or you could just do what I did here you can see it's over here because I just grabbed it and I dragged it over here to my favorites so that I could easily locate the folder so now I don't have to ever go uh, click on the C drive, click on this, and try to find it in there. I just have it right here, and you can see it's EVI import, and I've already have some quizzes in there. All I'm going to do now is grab this drill press quiz that I created in RTF format right here, 
and I'm just going to drag it into this folder. And it says you need administrator approval. I press continue. And now it's in here. Here it is, drill press quiz. So it, the reason why I did that is because once I double click this exam view import utility, which is my next step, I'm going to double click it and open it up. And it's going to load up, and then it's going to try to find RTF files. That's what this says right here. We're going to find RTF files, and we're going to be able to import them into here. I'm going to click Next. And here are all my files. The only reason why I found them very easily is because I dragged them into that specific folder. So we have the drill press quiz, the one that we just created. And I just click over here where it says Select. So I'm going to cl click Select. And now it's here. Uh, it's ready to go ahead and be basically imported. I would change one thing here. It's going to try to put it back in that exact same folder, which I don't want it to do. I actually want it to send it to my desktop so I can find it very easily. So I'm just going to click desktop and select down here on this export folder right here. So this is the file where it came from and this is where it's going. So it's going to go to my desktop. And then here you're just going to click next a whole bunch of times. Just keep clicking next, 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 and then finally you get to finish. Okay, you don't have to touch any of those other settings because it's already formatted correctly and it's just multiple choice. So I'm going to press finish and then right here it'll tell me whether or not I did it correctly. If you receive an error here, which I did this several different times, and sometimes my formatting was off and there would be an error would appear right here. If it says import completed like mine does here with 15 questions multiple choice, then everything is perfect. I can just close this file out. And now, right here on my desktop, you can see this weird little uh, file that says drill press quiz that's been created because I, I just went through the exam view import utility. And now it's ready to go ahead and basically go into the test generator. So I think I'm just going to double click it. Well, I may go ahead and open up the test generator first and then open up uh, then find that file and open it up. Uh, let's see if I have to type these things in. Glenn Irvin. Let's see if I can just do that. No. WK Bobbishaw, Minnesota. Close that. Uh, open an existing test. Open an existing question bank. I think that's what we're really going to have to do here. Let's see. It's fine. It's trying to find the test. So I'm going to go to the desktop and it should be under there under drill press. There it is. Drill press quiz. I just put it on my desktop. It's the only one that really appears. All these other things are just folders. I'm going to double click it and there it is. Here's the test. Okay. And now we are ready to basically move this into a file that Schoology can read. Now, if you already have um, you already use exam view, uh, you have a quiz generator, then once you're at this place right here, which you can create tests automatically, as long as you have this little answers right here that you can manipulate right here where it says your answer B or whatever it might be, then you can just go and start from this step forward. So I'm going to press file and I'm going to export and we have to export to something called Blackboard 6.0 Plus. And again, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So let's put it on my desktop and we're going to call it Drill Press Quiz. And the file is going to look really different because it's going to create a zip file. So I'm going to press Save. Uh, this one's, I got to fill in two things again Drill Press Quiz and Drill Press Quiz over here on directory name. And I'm going to just press OK. I don't mess with anything else here. And now it should have sent that uh, zip file to the desktop. And there it is. This is a zip file right here. This is the file we're going to import into Schoology. All right, so let's go into my fake class I created here for Neil. And I'm going to press Add Materials and Add a Test and Quiz. We're actually going to create a quiz like we would normally. We're going to call it drill press quiz again and I'm not I'm gonna choose any of these things you of course could change your number point value categories or whatever else might be due dates even and I'm just gonna press create 
and now the test is here but there's no question so I got to press add questions and we got to import a test or a quiz so it says from where from blackboard and I'm gonna go out here to drill press quiz and import and there we go so it says here's the questions and I'm gonna press edit just to see that it marked answers here it looks like when operating the drill press what should be done with the long hair put it under a cap or hairnet boom we go ahead and check correct answer if you wanted to manipulate the number of points you could because it automatically defaults to one point for each of the questions as you see here there's 15 questions and there's 15 points uh, to make this test available for students you have to go here um, actually you got to go into settings and then you got to say available now and then the students can actually go ahead and see it you can be able to publish the test but that's how you move the files I know it seems like a lot of steps but it actually once you start using it it's way easier than moving one question at a time if you are interested I will go ahead and be more than happy to walk you through this whole process and also put these two files onto your computer you need the exam view import utility and the exam view test generator bueno, that's all I got. Adios.